Welcome to the uh, 11th NVU Composer tutorial, and in this tutorial we're going to tackle the projects page. Uh, so go ahead and get it in, open into uh, NVU, uh, again into our COM201 site, and we're going to open up the proj.html uh, page. Uh, and that's going to be this page here, and I want to get you started with this. This is going to be a little different as how we, we kind of tackle this one, almost like your My Choices page. Um, for this project page, uh, first we want to right click table cell properties and get this set up under cells here for vertical and horizontal of top and center and then selecting OK. So now our cursor is going to be blinking here and we're ready to put in our nested table again. So we go up to menu bar, insert, it's kind of like deja vu, happening all over again for you. Uh, we have inserting our table. We're going to put in a one column and we're actually going to do um, six rows here. So we have lots of space. Uh, and we're just double click inside of any one of those cells and select table. And we're going to change this again. 600 pixels, no border, no spacing, two padding, and then we're going to actually center this here. So we're going to have center for the table alignment, just like all the other pages. And we can select OK. Uh, now we need to put in our uh, title here in the first one. So we're going to put in column 201 projects page. And that's going to uh, be the title for this one. Uh, it's highlighting it here and then coming up to the formatting toolbar and selecting a heading 1 format for this. Now that we have your COM201 projects page title put up here, we're going to go down to where we're actually going to put all of your pro, uh, projects linked here. Uh, to do that, we want the title of the project. I'm just going to keep it generic with uh, title of project, but you're going to actually put in the title of all of your projects, and you can pick the order that you want to put those in, maybe from uh, favorite to least favorite. Uh, however you want to do that is up to you. Uh, and under each one, we're going to select that, and we're going to change that text to a heading 2. And then below that, I'm going to hit enter, and I want you to put in a brief description of the assignment. Uh, you can even put in a, just a reflection on what you thought out of the assignment, what you got out of the assignment. Uh, and then lastly, we actually need to link this to the uh, assignment that you've created. Before we can go ahead and link the title of our projects, we need to make a projects folder to maintain the organization of our site. Uh, to do that, uh, I want to, uh, we're going to be minimizing and going down to the desktop just to kind of show you this process. I'd like you to hit Control S just to save what we've done so far now. Uh, and then come up here, we're going to minimize. And you can see here I have one project. Um, I, would, I would ask that you have all of the files that you've created, uh, the location open. You don't have to have them on your desktop. Uh, if it makes it easier for you, you can go ahead and copy them to your desktop. But you want every project you've created for this course here, uh, minus your photographs that you've created, and also minus the... Uh, uh, YouTube video that you created. We have separate dedicated pages for this. We don't need those projects in here. Uh, and then you want to open into the uh, documents or wherever you have put your course. I'm going to select here uh, my COM201 course, open up last name underscore COM underscore 201 site, and then you'll notice inside here we have all of our pages and we also have our images folder. Uh, along the same line as images, we're going to create a root folder um, for our projects, and we're just going to call those projects, lowercase is no problem. I'm going to open up that folder, and I'm going to uh, actually copy this assignment into this part so that there is a copy of this assignment. Now make sure that it is the most up-to-date version or copy of this assignment. Uh, let's say I edited this one after I've already copied it into here uh, and I want people to view the newest one. I'm going to have to replace uh, this one with this one. So be, be sure that you know which ones you're copying in there and it is the file that you want to be in there. So you should have all of your uh, projects in there. I'm just going to use the one for this demonstration. Uh, I'm going to exit out of this. We don't need this any longer. I'm going to go ahead and open back into EnView. And then once I'm in EnView, I am able to uh, select the title of the project. And then I'm going to select over here to uh, link this. So I'm going to select link here on our uh, composition toolbar. I'm going to select choose file. 
Uh, and again, now it's still going back to our images site, uh, which is fine, but we want to go out of that and into the root folder. We're going to then open up our projects uh, page, and again, this is saying HTML files, it's not. I'm just going to select all files, and that will allow me to make sure I can find all the different types of files that you guys are, have been creating through this course. And I'm going to select the one file f uh, of this project, and again, I just have a generic name here. Uh, you'll have the actual file name uh, of each project placed in there. I'm going to select open for it, and then I'm going to select OK. Uh, and that will have that linked there uh, under the title of project, and you're going to want to repeat this process for every single project you've created for this in each one of these cells, meaning one project and one description for each one. And then once you've completed that, you can move on to the next tutorial. Uh, so we are done for this part. Go ahead and finish up by putting in all of your projects here. If you need to insert a new row, just right-click in the last cell here, uh, Table Insert, and we can put a row below or a row above. It uh, doesn't really matter unless you have a specific order that you want your projects to be displayed in. Uh, congratulations on finishing this. You can move on to the next tutorial. Make sure you save before you exit.